What up, Warheads? It's your boy, Warlockside. Today, I feel a little piggish. I don't know if it's even working. It's working. Lord, would you look at that? So hard to see my monitor because it's sitting behind my other one. Oh shit. <coughs> well, motherfuckers. <coughs> oh shit. Alright. Today, showing a fucking CD collection. I gotta get rid of this shit. <laughs> I told. Oh man. I'm gonna be a piggy for real. Give me one second, people. Fuck it. Guess I can't do it like that. So, I am going to get rid of this pig. This, this pig face here. The pan. Boom. Shit. Yo, Deadheads the Zombie, what's going on? Sorry about that fucking fuck up. My OBS just decided to fucking shut itself down. Stupid shit. Can't take the pig face off. It didn't like that, apparently. So, um, yeah, apparently that fucked up. <laughs> anyway, back to the CD collection. Fuck this stupid OBS bullshit. That's Streamlabs OBS too. That's what's fucked up about it. Alright. Psychopathic collection. Here go way back here. First thing y'all should check out before the psychopathic shit. This shit right here. This shit's my boy Defect. Check his shit out. If you ain't heard of Defect, get over to fucking YouTube. Or oh, you're on YouTube. Go over and check that shit out. D-E-F-E-K-T. Defect. Or you can look up uh, that's the number one killer. How you been, man? I've been good, deadhead. I've been good, bro. Anyway, on to the psychopathic collection. Boom. We're going to make this bitch. It's a little shitty camera, camera stand here. So. All right. We got my fucking carnival of carnage here. You know, the ringmaster. Kind of look carnage in my car right now. Actually, I'd be bumping that shit a lot. Uh, Riddle Box. The Great Malenko. Hell yeah. Then over here we got Amazing Jucker Brothers. Shangri-La. The Wraith, obviously. Beverly Kills. Oops. Beverly Kills here. The Terror Wheel. Wait, there's more. <laughs> Boom. Tunnel of love. Forgotten freshness. One, two, three. Bam. Motherfucking Dark Lotus. With the red cross. I like that shit. The other Dark Lotus is like, boom right here. This is uh, like the second Dark Lotus album. Black Rain. Both of these are the shit. I still think the first one's my favorite. But they're both the shit. Psychopathic Riders. Dumping. Right there. Boom. Riding dirty. Oh shit, there's more. <laughs> Bam. The first twisted album on Psychopathic. My shit. Most tasteless. Mirror Mirror was the shit. Everything on Psychopathic that Twisted did was the shit. My fucking Blazy Dead Homies album. I believe that was his first one on Psychopathic. Boom. Boom. And boom. Oh yeah, and boom. This one right here. One less G in the hood. 
Wait, no. Is that the dead homie one? Let me see. Nope, one less G in the hood. Anyway. Another page. Motherfucking hatchet warrior. Jump steadies. The chaos theory. That was the shit right there, yo. I don't know why Jump Steady ain't making more music, but Psychopathics from Outer Space. Part one and two. Hollow Wicked. Which ones are these? Oh shit. This is from 2001, 2003. Thug Pit. I think the Thug Pit is the one with Tech Nine. So I believe this is the year of the motherfucking Tech Nine toured with ICP for. Uh... Oh, shout outs to Low. Hell yeah. What we got over here? Hatchet Attacks. That was the shit. That shit was dope back in them day. Hollow Wicked 2003. Oh yeah. And what's that? Another Hollow Wicked. Which one's this? Hold up. 2005. Alright. I forgot about that one. Yup, yup, yup. Hatchet Attack. Oh, oh, shit. More shit here. Boom. Psychopaths from Planet Space. Hatchet History, Bizarre Bizarre, Boom, my fucking The Tempest. Kind of like with that jersey right here, you see what I'm saying? The Tempest. Fudang. I don't know if y'all motherfuckers remember that shit. That song, that was, that's a fucking, this is a bootleg ass fucking cover that we made. But, uh, <laughs> and my brother made. Uh, Boom. Carnival Christmas. That's the shit. That's back in them island record days. Most of y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna know nothing about that. Unless you old school motherfuckers. Yeah. Look at that shit. Look at that misery. You see that fucking misery shit right there? That's that misery shit right there. That's that shit. That's that shit. Alright, uh, kind of got like one more page, but like Green Book, Zug Island, you gotta have some Zug Island, boom, Esham, you know where that is, Esham, this is, uh, this is some good shit back in them days, you know what I mean, this is some good Esham right there. But uh, Ever Ready, Tech Nine, Green Book. Shit, man, I like this green. I don't know if anybody had the Green Book album. I don't know if you guys had this shit or not, but uh, boom, take the fucking face paint off. I don't know if y'all had that shit. You got the same kind. Boom. Hell yeah. See, I can even paint my motherfucking face if I wanted to. <laughs> Anyway, this this CD was the shit. I remember when this motherfucker drops. Uh, there's a song. I don't remember the fucking name of the song. What the fuck? I'll fucking think of it later. But anyway, that's some shit. That's the shit. This was my shit right here. This one and up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm missing something. Something that didn't catch my eye and it should have. I wonder if it's in the other book still. Got a freak show somewhere. Had to had to move these into a bigger book because the collection is getting bigger and I have to have it. It's a nasty looking fucking book. It's old. Got to get a bigger fucking book for a bigger collection. Ah. But yeah, that's the shit. That's a lot of fucking CDs. A lot of years of collecting CDs. And like, as you could tell, after the six Jokers car, we 
didn't even collect shit really anymore. Like the Tempest, maybe, and fucking a couple other things. Like, oh yeah, Shag, Shaggy Two Dope's FTF only in there either. I got that somewhere. I think that's in my, my car. Yep, I think so. I was listening to that shit whenever fucking the other FTFO the MF came out. <clears throat> but uh hold up One second here. yeah I think I'll switch up the the uh, live stream a little bit I need some coffee too shit sucks that's a big fucking collection and I got more shit to add to it I gotta buy some shit that's missing like I might have to buy another freak show album if I could find one. Because uh Yeah. Because that's that's my shit. I love Freak Show. That's probably my favorite album by Twisted. Favorite definitely probably my favorite album by Twisted. Hell yeah. Yep, I need some coffee. I got some in the coffee pot. <laughs> so I need to drink it already. Which I doubt it. Oh, shit, man. It's time we do some... Shit, I didn't watch this new Mo Monoxide's fucking smoke session in his car last night. But, I haven't heard nothing negative about it yet, so that could be a good thing. Maybe he just didn't say shit, so. Uber Eats? What the fuck is that? They deliver coffee? Really, if you could find somebody to deliver coffee, that'd be the shit. That would be the shit. <clears throat> um, hoping to get tray flows on this motherfucker like soon, real soon. And I just got to figure out this whole fucking uh, what's that shit? Uber and they go get. Are you serious? Dude, that's the shit, man. That's a good way to make some fucking money, like, for Uber and shit. Because, like, sitting there waiting for somebody to want to ride somewhere, and then, like, a lot of people don't even use Uber. You know what I mean? So, like, I think having that, that's perfect. Go get me food. Like, if I'm working or some shit, and I can't go somewhere, and I want food brought to me, I'm going to call up Uber. And be like, hey, motherfuckers, I want some coffee. Large coffee, seven sugars, three creamers from McDonald's. You always have to you always have to put a high number of sugars in because McDonald's it's like they can't really count very well. <laughs> My fuckers, I'll tell them I used to get fourteen sugars, and I would only end up with like ten maybe. They probably won't do it in Flint. Flint's not a very friendly place. They might do it where I'm at, though. I just moved to a nicer place, so. Hmm. What are we looking for here? Facebook. Got a picture. <clears throat> All right, where we at? Yeah, that'd be the shit, yo. Have me a motherfucking Uber drop me off some shit. 
That would be dope. All right. Keep fucking doing stupid shit, backing out of shit. All right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna fix this up. Sorry guys, I'm just fucking boring as fuck right now. I ain't got no big subject to talk about yet because nothing's going down. Nothing. Look at that motherfucker is right there. Trey flows. I'm gonna get him up on the show soon. I want to uh he's fan, so I wanna get him on the motherfucking show. And I would like to get Fuego on here. Do a little interview, ask some questions, and uh, what the fuck? All right, oh, no. sorry guys, I'm fucking having a hard time doing some shit right quick. All right. Anyway, this is my sister and myself and Trey flows. It's my sister's first Hollow Wicked. <laughs> she uh, she she couldn't hang until ICP made it out because they took fucking forever. But yeah, that shit was like the longest I've ever waited for them to hit the stage. So yeah, I hope that shit doesn't happen again. I hope they get their fucking head on right because doing that stupid meet and greet shit. That shit's stupid anyway. I ain't gonna pay $100 to go meet you motherfuckers. I've already met you plenty of times, so I don't need to fucking pay money to meet you. But, um, to fucking run over, and you should've just cut it off. You should've been like, yo, you're gonna have to stay after and fucking, you know what I mean? Come on stage, get that fucking whole experience, watch from the backstage, whatever, or watch from fucking whatever I don't even know dude just get fucking some shit you know what I mean and and you get to be part of Fago Armageddon since when the fuck do you gotta pay a hundred dollars to get in for a meet and greet to be part of Fago Armageddon we used to always get on that motherfucking stage back in our day we'd fucking be on that stage every fucking show and we always be up there spraying Fago and like it was crazy the end of the fucking show was the shit every fucking show now you gotta pay for that shit. It's so fucking nuts. You gotta pay for the old school juggalo experience. That's what it should be called. It shouldn't be like the fucking VIP experience. It should be the old school juggalo experience. Because that's exactly what we experienced. And that shit is bullshit that they gotta charge $100 for that. I want this message to get across to them motherfuckers. Like, I don't know who you're dealing with with tickets. It was bullshit. Hell yeah. That was, yeah. That show was the shit. Vanilla Ice fucking killed that shit. Like, he came out blowing some wig back. For real. He come out there, tearing some shit up, and that's when the energy started pumping light. And then light, light tore that shit up. Fucking, they all fucking tore it up, man. Every last one of them. Oh yeah. I was pissed, man. My, my back was fucked. And I'm just like standing there, like dying, just waiting. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna wait. So I waited and waited and waited. Fuck it. I was ready to sit down. People were flipping trash cans over, sitting on trash cans because they were getting tired of standing. I was ready to go up in the balcony. But I'm pretty sure that's where the VIP people were at. They had way more uh, meet and greet people than what they thought they would. Which I can't believe that many people are willing to pay $100 to go back there and meet him. Have him sign some shit. 
like a maybe a half hour away from fucking psychopath. I'll drive there if I want a signature. I'll fucking go right up in that bitch, ask for a signature, and be done with it. I'm not gonna fucking pay a hundred dollars to get into this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit's crazy. I was pissed. I was pissed. My sister went out to the car and went to sleep. Fuck, I was like, you're missing, like, the best part of the show. Just fucking chill and just watch this shit. No, no. Couldn't hang. I'm like, this is, this is like, all right, whatever, go ahead. It's your loss, not mine. <laughs> After the reveal, I just took off. I was like, fuck it. Shit was dope. That shit was fresh. You know, I was worried about getting a flat tire because there's fucking nails all over the parking lot. Uh, if you walk out the main door, I was at the, right at the edge of the building, like all the way down though, like you go to the left all the way down that bitch at the very corner. He was sitting there, some chick runs up and like pisses behind his van and it was like, like a broken down van. I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, people are walking up on this shit, that was funny. Oh. I need to get some music shit going on this channel, but every time I do it seems to have fucking issues with audio not working, so I'm gonna figure some shit out, and we're gonna have some music play in the background and shit. I could probably just throw some music on. Throw some in the shit background out. and shit. Oh, that's I can me. probably just throw some music on. I can't watch myself live. Throw some in the shit background out. and shit. Oh, that's I can me. probably just throw some music on. I can't watch myself live. Throw some in the background out. and shit. Oh, that's I can me. probably just throw some music on. I can't watch myself live. Throw some in the shit background out. and shit. Oh, that's I can me. probably just throw some. I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. Throw some in the background and shit. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. What the fuck's happening? Don Chaos. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. You're gonna have to rewind Don Chaos. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. You're gonna have to rewind Don Chaos. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. You're gonna have to rewind Don Chaos. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna turn this shit down. Watch myself live. You're gonna have to rewind. Raz Massey, what's up, bro? 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 Raz Massey, Trying to find some royalty free shit so I don't get fucking copyrighted again. Hell yeah, Don Chaos. What's going on? What's going on with what? What's all gone? What are you talking about? Something's all gone? Alright, um. Yeah. I gotta throw some music on in the background because I can't do this quiet. Once you start to dip, it's easy to lose control until the only choice you have is to feed the monster. Don't let dip own you. Smokeless doesn't mean harmless. Sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Can you see me? Am I good? Is everything all right? You can't hear me now. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> that shit's funny as fuck. Can you hear the music too? Is that, can you hear that shit? Is that what's, the desktop noise is going on. Cause I don't hear shit. Oh yeah. 
All right, there we go. Oh shit, I'm Gucci now. <laughs> I need some motherfucking coffee. I'm about to call Uber in this motherfucker. Not really, I ain't calling Uber. Not right now. Better not. Call these motherfuckers, they won't uh they won't like me. You want me to come all the way over there for a motherfucking coffee? Are you stupid? Bring me three of them bitches. Three of them. Hold up. You guys, uh... Go ahead and chat. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee right quick. Ah, oh. hell yeah! <clears throat> Y'all threw up the fucking chat window, but nobody chatted after I threw it up, so I don't know if it even works. But uh, I'm a somebody want to shoot a chat, so I want to see if this motherfucker works. Better be careful when I'm playing. These motherfuckers be copyrighting my shit. <laughs> Fucking YouTube's a bunch of bitches. All right, let me see here. Oh shit, it works. That's what's up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good shit, Lo. Thanks for that. Uh, eyeballs. Big brother is watching you motherfuckers. <laughs> Big brother. Little brother. I can't put my beats on. You guys won't be able to hear the music. You probably can't even hear it anyway, can you? I'm just gonna give shout outs to whoever playing the beat. It says Kygo featuring Conrad Firestone. Instrumental motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I give shout outs to it so they can't copyright my shit. I just want copyright or not copyrighted shit. I know they got a playlist of everything I can play, but I don't know where the fuck it's at. How to access it, but. Yes, sir. Uh, so who is going to the show in Detroit on April 1st slam fest anybody in here going there South Warren whoop whoop I'm sure you're gonna be there right South Warren I know you're like 20 minutes away from the Fillmore if that <laughs> My brother lives in South Warren, right off Nine Mile, and uh, 
something or other. Gotta go get your... Man, do they still have places where you go buy your ticket like that? Like, my last two concerts, I took my daughter to Snow the Product. My 13-year-old, she loves Snow the Product. I got her hooked on that kind of music because that kind of music is real music. And the 6 9 character that she listened to is fucking retarded. So I tried to get her into that, so I took her to a Snow the Product concert. I, I bought it on... Tick, on uh, I had to have it put at um, Roll Call which I'm trying to figure out how to do this when I do my giveaway because when I do roll call, it wants my credit card when you go get your ticket. And if I'm buying it for somebody else, I don't want to have to give my fucking credit card in a whole different state. So I'm gonna have to call them off. I'll just figure that shit out. I'll just have it mailed right to their house. But um, in between, Shaner, in between Topher and Eight Mile. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, I think my brother is on, uh, my sister lives on 10 Mile in Shaner, but uh, my brother lives on something or other. <laughs> I forgot, I know it's on 9 Mile and something. 9 Mile and might be DeQuinder. It might be DeQuinder, it might be the next one, I don't know. Hell yeah. He used to live right there on 9 Mile and fucking. Wasn't John R. It was on uh, Pearl Street. He used to live on Pearl Street down there. Hell yeah. That shit was cool back in the day. It was nowadays. I mean, Warren Warren's always been Warren, but you get sometimes it's sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's it's not. <laughs> Get a little bit further south, it gets really bad. But certain areas of Warren's nicer than others, I guess. East Detroit High School? I don't know what the fuck school he went to. I don't even remember. Shit. He lived down. He lived down there all his life. Like I went. I lived up north all my life. I lived in the fucking sticks. That's where I lived. I lived out there for a long motherfucking time. I'm in Flint Town right now, yeah. I've been in Flint Town for like the last 15 years. 13 years, I think. Something. 14 years, maybe. Hell yeah, bro. Raz, I'm definitely down, bro. I'm definitely down anytime. Anytime. I'm going to get on that underground wicked radio for sure. Hell yeah, Warren. Just don't move to Flint, bro. Because Flint is a dead-end city. Flint is not going any motherfucking where. And there's nothing here. And that's, that's... That's it. I mean... That's it. There's nothing. The shops are shit. You know what I mean? Like, they're always laying people off, so they're not, like, hiring a bunch of people. But, I don't know, man. Flint's is shit. I'm trying to get the fuck away from Flint. Hell yeah, the water's a bitch, but <laughs> I don't drink it. I don't drink water anyway. I drink Fago, strictly Fago and coffee, pretty much. If I drink water, it's a bottle. <laughs> it's like smart water or fucking Aquafina or some crazy shit. It's not. It's not the kind that like the. Um, I think it was Deja Blue Blue or some shit. That shit doesn't fucking freeze, man. Like you can leave that shit outside in the ice and shit for like a couple days and it won't fucking freeze. It's weird as fuck. I tried it myself. I seen a video and I didn't believe it. I thought maybe they put something in there so it wouldn't freeze, like alcohol or something. But no, it was just water because I tried it and it didn't fucking freeze at all. It was like a little bit of ice on top, but the rest of it was just water. It's crazy. Yeah, never moved to Flint, man. This fucking there's nice areas around Flint, like um, Burton. Burton's all right. It's a nice. I mean, it's getting bad. Like, it's getting, it's like the south side of Flint and 
to the east a little bit and it's getting a little worse but um my boy lives in burton uh holly is nice grand blank is really nice Fenton's pretty nice. People are starting to move there from Flint, though. So because like all the water shit going on, people are moving around, spreading out, or schools are shutting down. Like Northwestern High School shutting down, and that's like that's like a school you just don't want to go to. And uh, so there, all them kids are going to be spread out between all the other Flint schools and all the other districts. So it's going to be fucking crazy. And my kids go to a school with like. 700 people in it now like total from k through 12 700 some people her last school they had over 5,000 people in the whole fucking school district and that shit was it's a big change bay city is like an hour maybe yeah about an hour north about an hour north of here hell yeah saginaw is like a little ways just south of bay city so it's closer saginaw is nasty you don't want to go there saganasty Fuck that place. That's almost as bad as Flint, dude. Like, every day someone's getting shot there. It's just as... They're going to have a water issue with them. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Something's going to happen. Man, oh man. What time is it? Oh, uh, yeah, 10 o'clock. We've been streaming 35 minutes. That's what's up. Took me a minute to get it up and running today. But yeah, since y'all motherfuckers just joined in, reason I showed these at the beginning, but uh I did the um the C D. I'll show them again, fuck it. Alright. I'm gonna move this up out the way. I'm gonna do this again. Nothing but meth head, that's what I'm saying. That's like that's Saginaw. That is Saginasty. All right, we got Carnival of Carnage. You see Riddle Box, Ringmaster, the Malinko. <laughs> uh, this shit's so hard to do. My screen's way the fuck over there. Oh yeah, Jekyll Brothers out there. I could switch that picture around. Wraith. Oh, you know what that is. You know what that is. Terror wheel. Beverly kills. Hell yeah. I showed these motherfuckers off earlier. But nobody was really on. There was a couple people watching, but so I'm just gonna show them again just for the fucking hell of it. Oh, look at them forgot fresh this one, two, and three. That's my favorite. That's kinda where it stopped. Total love. Riders. Riders. You see that red cross in there, right? You know what that is, right? <laughs> Dark Lotus, motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Hell, Mars version of Dark Lotus. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. Boom. 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 Alright, next page. The first. This is the one that got me right here. This is the one that sold me on Twisted. Most tasteless. Some mirror mirror shit. And, uh... Where the fuck was that other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's my shit, too. Boom. Oh, motherfuckers. You see that? I don't really. This one I didn't really care for. That's it. Yeah. No, Mutant, I didn't care for. Man's Myth was dope. Uh, You know, Blaze the Dead, homie, that motherfucker. You know that buddy's in there. Oh yeah, the one less G. I think that was it, right? Yeah. Motherfucking jump steady. Chaos theory. Look at that trick. Psychopathics from outer space. 
What else we got in here? Oh yeah, there's another one of them. All the ABK shit. It's so fucking hard to show this shit. I don't know if y'all can see it very good or not. Matter of fact, fuck it. I'm gonna make this a little easier on all of us. Just a little easier. Hold on one second here. Sorry guys, I'm fucking slow. I understand. Alright, fuck it. Good enough for now. They don't need to be perfect. Cause I'm just a juggalo and I ain't fucking perfect. But uh hat to the tax, motherfucker. Hat to the tax. Hollow Wicked. There's a couple. I keep I have to do this every fucking time. Cause I know there's 2001, 2003, 2000. I got 2005 here somewhere. No, this is 2005. Yep. Hollow Wicked 2005. 1, 3, and 5. I don't know where the fuck 2 went. Or 4. But, uh. Yeah. That was the shit. Misery, motherfucker. Look at that shit. This right here. This is what made me think of Misery like the Spanish Tupac and shit. <laughs> when he was coming out with that shit. Fudang. That's a bootleg case. Uh, cover. Obviously, you know that Tempest shit right there. You know that shit right there. That's still my shit. And one more page of that shit. I'll do the same shit for y'all motherfuckers that I did for everybody else. I know some of y'all, or most of y'all, know what this is. And you know about the fucking face paint. You know what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. I still, I thought that was the shit when they did that, man. That was dope. That was the shit back then. You know what I mean? Yeah. I miss the books. Like, the books were the shit back in the day. Look at this shit, man. Like, they used to do so much different shit. Like, all psychopathic did shit in their books. It was crazy. Good shit in the books. Look at that. That was supposed to be the Magic Ninja. That was supposed to be the Magic Records. And, uh, yeah. That was supposed to be that shit. You know, shit changes, but who knows. They come out with that, uh, shit in Big Money Hustlers. And I think that's kind of what inspired Magic Ninja Entertainment. Magic, Magic Ninja. I think that's, I'm not going to, don't quote me on that shit, but that might be it. But yeah, you got that album right before I left for boot camp. Green book. Hell yeah. You went to boot camp? Like, military boot camp or like, what? <laughs> or you in trouble boot camp type shit. Yeah. My hatchet history is one of my favorites. That's just my shit. Oh yeah. That's the old school motherfucking one right there. Uh... But yeah, pretty much it. Fucking hella collection. Adding to it still. I'm gonna I gotta replace some shit. Maybe? Hell yeah, man. Well thank you for your motherfucking service and shit. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, give Raz Massey some motherfucking love. For his services. <laughs> That's what we do. Hell yeah. I mean, I, I didn't make the cut for the Marines because my spine was all crooked and shit. It is still crooked. It's like crooked. I have scoliosis, it's called. So my back is like crooked as fuck. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It could be deadly, I guess, is what the doctor says. So, so you got to be careful. Not to fucking have rib cages puncture lungs and hearts and 
organs and shit like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'd do it. I'd fucking do it in a heartbeat if they let me go to the army or fucking Marines. I wouldn't do the army, but I'd probably do the Marines. I don't think I would actually, I don't know if I could fight in the service right now, you know, the way shit, the way I now know what I know now about why we fight in these things a lot of times. I don't know how it is over there, but like, I know that a lot of time we're fighting for something that I think it's just a lot, a lot to do with greed for the, the big fucking pockets and shit. And you know, like there's a couple countries they don't use our banking system. So we need to take the motherfuckers out and get them on our banking system type shit. Of course, it's going to make it look like, oh, like I don't like watching the fucking news at all because it's fucking full of shit. I have a lot of friends that are um, ex-military, retired military and shit. And they'll tell you that, yeah, you don't, like, I've had people tell me that it's bad over there, like, real bad. Like, they live the way that we hear about. But they also see us as terrorists going over there trying to take over their shit. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. It's crazy. And that's why they're fucking... Hell yeah. That's right. That's that's the truth. You're never an ex-military. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Inactive. Shit's fresh, man. That's what's up. Oh man. What's up, Raz Massey? Do you still hang out with Queen Cumstain? What the fuck? <laughs> Dr. Steve Stanko. <laughs> what the hell's going down? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Queen Cumstain. Yes. I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about, but that was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I know when I played fucking butt fam on my shit, it got copyrighted fucking, but I, I guess it really don't fucking matter. Man, I hope so, dude. Like, I want to go to the gathering and shit. But, uh, I'm not so sure that... Well, I might. Depends. Like, I don't know if it's going to work out like it's supposed to. But I might. I would love to go to the gathering, dude. Oh shit, two hours away? Hell yeah! Now if I lived two hours away, you damn right I'd fucking be there. Like, I'm not sure exactly how far it is from here. But, um... Yeah, it's just a little crazy. I haven't gone in the gathering since... John Jay before the Wizard of the Hood show. Yeah, man. That was the last one I think Twisted did. Right? 16. Yeah, man. You know what I miss? I miss it being in fucking Michigan. It was only here once. You know what I mean? Like, come on. See a hometown. I think it was in like Ann Arbor or fucking somewhere. I didn't get to go to that one. I went to Toledo. That was cool. I went to fucking Peoria. That was a long fucking drive, but that was cool. And then our boy Defect 
had a baby bladder and shit. So we had to stop. We got off. We got something to drink. Went to the bathroom. Got back on the e way. As soon as we got back on the motherfucking e way, he had to piss again. So we had to stop again to go to the fucking bathroom again. It was funny as shit. Good times. Good times. Oh, shit. Cave in rock too. Hell yeah, cave in rock. I miss the indoor gatherings, yo. I really do. But they're too big now. You know what I mean? We'd have to have like Ford Field if we brought it to Detroit. We'd have to have something huge. Little Caesars Arena might be big enough, but it's too uh, fuck that. Too dangerous. That place is fucking nuts. If the nosebleeds are actually, you have to look straight down on the top of the scoreboard and shit. But it's pretty fucking, it's big, but I don't think it would be very safe because we get a little crazy when the concert's going down. Dude, I've been to fucking, um, a few fucking different ones. Dude. Like, uh, St. Andrew's Hall. There's a balcony thing. People, I think it's St. Andrews, but people jumping off that motherfucker into the crowd, fucking like, we get up on top of speaker. I didn't do it, but people getting up on speakers and shit, jumping off the speakers and craziest shit ever, man. Hollow Wicked back at uh, uh, State, it was State Fairgrounds when they headed the State Fairgrounds here in Detroit. That shit, I seen people carried out on fucking wheelchairs, stretchers, everything else, dude. Fucking all mangled up because they fucked up, got fucked up in the mosh pit, and it was crazy, insane, dude, insane. Trying to bring more viewers. I just post some shit online. So, Scottish Misfit, shout outs to you, bro. Thanks for coming on here. Blaze the motherfucking motherfucker. Holy motherfucking shit, motherfucker. What's up, bro? What's good? Hey, yeah. It's good to see you motherfuckers up in here today. Today is Friday, my favorite day of the week. There's only a few things that can make Fridays even better. Very few things can make Friday better or worse. Nothing can make it worse. Friday's my shit. Or something. I think I said that wrong. That's my bruh. What's happening, Blaze? You gotta put some motherfucking smell good on. I have to smell good at all fucking times. I hate stinking, which I don't, never. Only time I stink is somebody don't like my cologne. <laughs> Got a job, still ain't shit to do. We gonna get high. You know what? I've already done got high today. I got one, two, three, four. Four of them motherfuckers gone today. This is a roach paper. What the fuck? Oh yeah, and a bowl. I was smoking on a bowl earlier. So that's what's up. Four doobies already. And it's only 10.30. Token on resin. We get paid next Friday. Hell yeah, man. I've been there, trust me. I've been there plenty of motherfucking times. <laughs> Yo, what happened to fucking Deadhead's... De oh, Deadhead, you fucking... Uh, you know. You know? I don't know. Oh, yeah? 
I don't know what the fuck you did, bro. Oh yeah. You got a few uh wrenches to drop on some motherfuckers. There we go. Brooklyn Menace. Scottish Misfit. And Raz Masty. You're going to have to comment to see if it worked. I don't know if it worked or not, but you're going to have to see. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Brooklyn in here. Yep, Brooklyn's in here. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, if the news hasn't spread yet, motherfuckers. I am proud to motherfucking say... Well, I don't even know if I should say. I'll leave that out to Scottish Misfit and run for cover. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some shit going down. Oh yeah, Raz heard about it. Raz, but well, you was there, but you was there. You was there. Yep. Oh man. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave that up to uh to them guys to 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 spread the news. But uh Hell yeah. Yeah. I seen your bro over there sitting there, I'm like, I hey, she get out here and talk, man. Shit. <laughs> get out here and say whatever. <laughs> Holy fuck. So this weekend, Sunday, 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 check me out again over at the Tales of the Lotus podcast. That's all I do on the weekends, though. I'm not, like, that's the only time I'll be on in the weekends, probably, unless I pop in and somebody else wants me on the show, then I'll do that. I'll do whatever you guys want me. Raz, especially for your shit, man. Whenever you're ready, man, or whenever you're ready to set up, just let me know what you're going through. Like you're using like hangouts or you're using uh that fucking other one. You know, that one. The big FaceTime type thing. I don't remember what the fuck you call it. <laughs> you know. I'm ready to uh Oh cool, hell yeah. I I got a hangouts, bro. I'll just shoot you my fucking email. Yo, uh, Scottish Misfit, I'm not sure if you can receive my email or not with my address. I sent it to Tales of the Lotus Podcast at Yahoo.com. Email. So, check that. I've won some free comic books. It was awesome. Now, just to win them motherfucking new kids on the block, I will be one happy motherfucker. <laughs> Simple. Uh, my my sister was a big New Kids on the Block fan. She had fucking everything. No, it was really mine. I'm just saying my sister's because no, <laughs> I didn't even know what the fuck music. Yeah, I did. I knew what music was back then. I was in the real music though. <laughs> Oh, 
fucking. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good, Scottish Misfit. Ice, ice, baby. That's the shit, bro. Like, you know, back in Peoria, or not Peoria, Toledo gathering, this motherfucker, Vanilla Ice, comes out. And this what, like, I did not care for his motherfucking set at that gathering. Like, he come out, started rapping it, and then he fucking kicked it down and started fucking rock and roll style shit, and I hated it when he did that shit. Like, don't fucking, don't ruin the song, man. A rap song is not meant to be fucking rock and roll like that. You know what I mean? Like, he, he mixed music together for a minute. Like, all of his old, like, his whole fucking album, I think, he redid. It was called Cold as Ice or some shit. You know, that shit, he come out just screaming it. Ice, ice, baby. He fucking screaming and shit. Bipolar album. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I did not like it. I did not like that shit at all. And then at the ga at the Hollow Wicked this year, he come out and rapped that shit, dude. And like it was just so intense, man, that you could just fucking feel the the, the crowd. Everything was feeling it, dude. It was it was badass. But that bipolar shit, bipolar shit, that shit was fucking stupid, man. I hated that shit. <sighs> Could not ask for a worse fucking album. I think that fucked him all the way around. When it comes to music. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go. Hell yeah. I love that shit too, man. Like I was big Ninja Turtle freak. My mom wouldn't even let me watch Ninja Turtles. My brother had to my my brother, he's my stepbrother, he lived next door with my dad and his mom. It's a long story. But uh they lived next door and he would sneak Ninja Turtles to my house. My mom was Jehovah Witness. And she did not believe any violence, no fucking Nothing to do with, like, ICP at all. She hated that shit. Like, she tried taking my shit and having me send it back to my brother because he sent me an ICP CD. So, what I do, I put my fucking, the case, slapped it in the motherfucking mail with the motherfucking country CD or some shit. It was one of my sister's CDs that I stole. And I sent that motherfucker to him. She seen the case go in the mail. And I opened it up and showed her a CD in there that she didn't even recognize anyway. She wouldn't even know what she was looking at. So I shut the CD. My mom was old school. My grandparents adopted me when I was three months old. My dad's mom and dad. So that's why my dad was living next door with my stepmom. Because he was actually technically, legally, my brother. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking hicklebilly thing. But anyway. So I had to fucking sneak my ICP shit around for a while. And then finally I just got big enough and told my mom, like, look. I'm going to listen to what I want to listen to. She thought it was just a phase. She's like, oh, this is just a phase. This will blow over. I was like, mom, I don't think you understand. I was like 12. It's like, this is not just a phase. It's not something that's going to change by tomorrow. This is not something that's going to change in five years from now. Here it is over 20 some years later and I'm still a fucking juggalo. You know what I mean? Like, Still down with the motherfucking clown until I'm dead in the ground. That's the way it's going to be. From now, for all of eternity. All of it. <laughs> Shit is fucking lit. Oh, yeah. I'll be seeing that there, shit. I got your uh, message, Raz Massey. Oh, well, I'm in your group. I just got that shit. Hell yeah, bro. Hero Turtles, really? No shit. Dude, that's awesome, man. I didn't even know that shit. That's fucking, you learn something new every day. 
That's what's up. Oh, yeah, I can't. That shit was fucked up for a minute there. Hell yeah, man. I cannot wait to get this motherfucking... Like, I just want to get to 10,000 views and shit. Or 1,000 subscribers would be nice. I want to do these giveaways. You know what I mean, Ant? The one stipulation that I got for these giveaways is whoever wins the ticket has got to take pictures at the concert or the gathering, whichever giveaway it's from. Saint Dog, huh? Hell yeah. For real, man, we gotta, uh, I want pictures, video clips, whatever you can get. Whoever wins this, tickets. And I wanna put it on my channel. If you can get some good footage while you're at the show, <laughs> that would be dope. We'll put it on the show, give you shout outs for it as well. And then we'll have the winner on the show after the concert so we can get their experience live on the concert. Fuck yeah. Streaming on YouTube while I'm getting on kicking it. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Pretty soon I want to get Trey Flows up on here. I want to get, if he's down, I want to get Max up on here. My fam. That's my family. Max. Would love to have CPN on here, but I'm sure he probably wouldn't want to come on my show. Uh, but he might. You never know. CPN's a cool dude, so you never know. Crazy McCormick definitely got to get him on the show. He already agreed to be on here as well, so that'd be another dope-ass show. And it sucks that he can't live stream for a while. But he could be on my motherfucking live stream. There ain't nothing stopping that. Well, except for uh, if I get booted too. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> That'd be what's up. Yeah, I plan on getting some people's on here, and it's going to be with uh, Skype, probably. That's what it is, Skype. That's probably what I'm going to be using, um, because I'm just because I'm using the OBS, and I think it's a little easier, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm still trying to figure out how to use my OBS on that shit y'all use, because that would be pretty fucking dope on Hangouts, Google Hangouts. Yeah, hell yeah. But I like it. I like them both. It's just uh, sometimes the changing of the pictures and the, or the video clips of each other is like it's a little off sometimes. And I don't want it to be choppy, you know. I like my shit being smooth. Like that shit earlier where I was fucking looping, kind of. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. We'll hit that shit up for sure. We'll set it up. Whatever day you're down, man, I'm down. Just select OBS as your camera source. It'll have to be like a certain time because like I have to pick up, well, in the mornings, I drop my wife off at work and that's like a half hour away. Then I come home. And then at night, I have to be there by four to pick her up and then I come home. So yeah, I do two trips a day. So it's like two hour drive in a day. Gets old, same route over and over and over again. But yeah. Hell yeah. Whenever, man. I'm down. Shit. Plenty of time today. Plenty. Holy shit. <clears throat> some days are better than others, man. Some days. Like, some days, like, if I just don't stream, like, I'm... I literally plan on streaming almost every day. Through the week. Uh... I know in July I'll be taking vacation for a week so I may have to set something up to where my videos will upload themselves I'll have to make some major uploads and then set it to where it'll upload 
every day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I need to get some, keep it going while I'm gone, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's hard to, uh, it's hard to keep shit going when you're in fucking middle of Missouri and you can't fucking get internet signal for shit. Oh yeah, they do have Wi-Fi, so that's good. That's a good thing. But I remember last year I uploaded some video down there. I'm sure y'all seen that while I was walking down that long dirt driveway. Got to the road, turned around, walked back. It was 70 some acres, 90 some acres of fucking woods. Loving it, dude. That's my shit. I can go fishing whenever the fuck I wanted to. And I was always catching fish, like pan fish, bigger than my fucking hand. Bass, they had little bass, they're just small little fucking things, but it was fun catching them and shit. You know what I mean? I'm just a catch release type a lot, but I mean, I like to catch for food too. I love eating fish, but like mainly I'll catch a release, catch a release, catch a release. Here I catch a lot of catfish, so I'm releasing. This catfish ain't good out of the Flint River. Bottom feeders and shit, you don't want to, you don't know what the fuck you're going to cut open and find. You know what I mean? <laughs> you cut the stomach open, you might find some nasty shit. You might find a finger. People's found bullets in their fish before from just being in the water. Like, just bullets itself. Like, no casing, no nothing. Just a bullet. People just probably stupid shooting at the water and it's, it's crazy. Hell yeah, man. Well, fuck. I'm gonna I'm a jump this fucking live stream. I'm gonna jump off of here. Go take a leak right quick and all that good shit. And then, and then, yeah, I'll be hitting up with Raz Massey. We'll get down on that shit for real. Oh shit. Yep, I really need some fucking, roll some more doobies. At least one. And I'll be doing that shit. And then, uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Warheads. Make sure you check out that fucking merch. The link is down below for the store. Check that out. Teesprings.com slash stores slash Warlock's Eye. See all them shirts. The two scoops of whoop. Two whoops one time. All that shit. Right there. $17 a shirt. Coffee cup. Two scoops of whoop is nine dollars. There's another one I forgot to change the price on, so it's a little bit high. So I'm gonna try to fix that. And uh, yeah, hoodies, all that good shit. Hell yeah. There's a lot of good warheads. All the shirts on the back of every one of the shirts it says "What's up, warheads?" or "What up, warheads?" So that's cool. I ain't got none sitting around, but I'm about to get some new ones. I'm about to make some new ones. I'm still trying to get a hold of uh somebody. Which I was in the talks with Crazy and he was telling me about somebody that could help me with designs and shit for... Because what I'm looking for is a very certain design. And it's going to take some patience and good work. Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely going to take some shit. Don't get the motherfucking mugs. That shit's... That shit's dope. Just fucking... That's just awesome as shit. I want it fucking uh, put it in dishwasher. I just probably hand wash it just because I don't know how it would last. But it might. It might last. Who knows? But uh, yeah, stay lit, warheads. It's good to see all you motherfuckers. I love you all. Y'all's family. Hit me up on motherfucking Twitter, Facebook. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. You probably are. And, uh,. Just select OBS as your camera source. No shit, I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Brooklyn Menace. I just seen that. Yeah, you wrote that. I just seen that shit. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Well, that's good shit, guys. I will be on to... No, tomorrow's Saturday. So Monday, I'll be back. I'll, I'll be on Tales of the Lotus Pod. K. 
podcast Sunday with some very special news for y'all motherfuckers. And then, and then, and only then, today, after I get off this motherfucker, I will be on with Raz Massey. Hell yeah. You got a present for me as well. So stay tuned, motherfuckers. Go check out Raz Massey's show over here. And that's it. Peace out, motherfuckers.